Alright, so I just got my new Mac Pro. Hey, babes. Named it Kate because it has eight cores. She has eight. And um, I'm going to start her up in a second. I'm just going to make some room here. Keyboard here. And uh, let me just show you. I'm going to go to Apple. About this Mac. And if you look. Two by three gigahertz quad core Intel Xeon, 18 gigabytes of 667 megahertz DDR2 fully buffered ECC DIMMs. Oops. 10.4.9. I'll upgrade that to a. Well, I'm not gonna upgrade it right away because it's gonna go to 10.6 anyway. Because um, well, let's do some. Oh no, I can't. I was gonna download Geekbench, but. I forgot this. The first Mac I've ever bought that does not have a. Uh, it doesn't have an airport card. Oh. Uh, haven't seen a tray loading Mac ever. Not in my whole life. Uh. Wow. Somebody's had their fingers on that. What a freaking mess. So hold on a second. I'll be damned. All it made me do is restart the computer. Use English, please. Speak at Espanol. Set up installation. Click continue. The easiest freaking thing I've ever seen. Select the disk. Macintosh HD. Customize. I need QuickTime 7 Pro and I need Rosetta. Hell, I got 2 gig drive. Put all the freaking pictures on there. Are you serious? Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. It says that's all I need for installation of Snow Leopard. This is freaking one third what Vista and Windows 7 want on my hard drive. Good. That'll give me more room to put Vista. Well, Windows 7. I never put Vista. That's gonna make suicide. I'm gonna put Windows 7 on here. Dual boot. <laughs> Maybe I could play a few games. I don't know. Not sure how GTA 4 would run on an X1900 XT. I'll tell you one thing. I don't have to worry about not about it needing processors. 8 3 gigahertz cores of Xeon processing power. And 18 gigs of fully buffered DIMMs. This is my 2 by 3 gigahertz quad core Intel Xeon. 18 gigs of RAM. So I got a theory here that Finder is not multi threaded. Because doing my compression here, compressing my old folder, 7.45 gigabytes, about 11 minutes left, would be done in about one minute. It was multi-threaded because look at okay eight cores right it's using one of them okay now if you look and I click on iStat menus you see there's the one core doing all the work finder 96 percent if it were using all eight cores it would say finder 800 percent and look at now it just switched cores all the damn sudden went to core one now core three instead of using them all evenly it's like switching off on them for some reason I don't know if that's to keep the heat down or something but the fans in this thing are like a freaking wind tunnel when you kick them up all the way there's no need to do that now it's going to core four it was staying on core six for the longest time now it's going up it looks like it's on core five 
core 8 for a second, now core 1 again. I don't know why it's doing this. All I can say is this would go a hell of a lot quicker if it would just use all of my damn cores. I have 8 cores, 2 Xeons running at 3 GHz and 18 gigs of RAM available to this system. Why isn't it using it is my question. Someone can please tell me this, I would really appreciate it. Is there like a multi-threaded version of Finder that can be run? Do I need to start in a 64-bit kernel or something? I would really like to know.